hey guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching what is happening you guys i am jade if you're new here please like this video and also share so michael elisomi is speaking out from his hiding place for those of you who don't know michael and angela have been going through it honey anyways take a look at what they have to say or should i say take a look at what michael has to say and i'll be back with the rest of my opinion Hello guys, this is Michael. Uh, I just want to quickly make this video to inform the public that I'm not in any social media platform right now. I mean, at this moment, when the time comes, I'll make it official, okay? Thank you and God bless you. So you guys just said Michael. That's what he has to say. Um, He's not on social media because there are some speculations about how, you know, he's on various social medias or whatever. So he was just setting the record um basically record straight i should say in the meantime angela is threatening fire and brainstorm honey angela is threatening to rain hell on anyone involved in this michael situation she has vowed to do everything within her means everything that she can possibly do to see to it that michael is deported back to his country nigeria she's promising to spend no expense thanks to trc <laughs> <laughs> now th and that's another thing that i was wondering now that let's say let's say that angela and michael really go ahead with the divorce so does that mean now that angela is no longer in charge of michael's you know portion of the tlc check i'm just wondering because now that it looks like they are heading to a divorce what's going to happen that would be an interesting thing to see because they are no longer together. And the law is that the money that TLC pays goes to whoever is the citizen of America, you know, and that's the reason why most of these people who are non-citizens are having to rely on their citizen spouse or fiance to for funds because all of the money is paid to the American citizen. And the fiancés who are non-American at the time are uh, basically left are not giving anything. So it's not up to the discretion of the American citizen to make sure that they support, they give a portion of the finance to their spouse or their significant other, right? And Michael, for a very long time, has been financially abused, in my opinion by Angie because Angela gets all the money and she gets to do whatever she wants. She gets to have her teeth fixed. She gets to have a book job. You know, she gets to have this um, weight loss surgery, whatever. Do you understand? So, and, and, and that can be a cause for resentment. And Michael is on the other hand telling him, you don't need this, you don't need this, you don't need this. Maybe Michael does not necessarily believe that Angela does not need all those work done, but maybe Michael is thinking, any dollar you spend on getting your cosmetic procedures done is a dollar that is taken away from me, you know? So Angela has been very awful to Michael. If you don't want to see it, that's your cup of tea. But if you want to be objective, if you want to be honest, you will know that the way that Angela has treated Michael is just not right not right at all you know spending all their money doing all kinds of things that she doesn't even need because if you look at all the procedures that angela has had done it makes no difference okay and if i'm being completely honest it, angela would have been better off not even doing all those things because now she's saddled with loose skin and all kinds of things and i'm sure there are other medical issues that they don't want to share that she's currently battling on account of all these procedures and michael is living like a pauper you know all because of angel so it's just it's just really unfortunate you know but anyways like i said angela has vowed that she was going to bring make sure she was going to see to it that michael gets deported she even vowed to use a bounty hunter to locate michael if she has to hey hey now wow michael mm, if your parents are praying parents if your family if they are a praying family they have to put your life in god's hands okay this woman is threatening to do all kinds of things to see to it that you don't remain in america and trust and believe that she will do it okay she will do it this is what vindictive people do 
she either do it on her own or she will look for somebody that will do it for her so that her hands so that it doesn't get traced back to her okay angela says that michael used her to get to america and that michael planned the whole thing but in the same breath we all watch how angela repeatedly tagged michael as slow basically saying that he's a dimwit so how was a person whom angela deemed to be slow able to like twist angela's arm to get a green card and let not pretend as if the reason angela kept michael around was not the same reason of being slow angela thought that with michael being quote unquote slow you know she could take advantage of him and and use his slow use him you know the fact that he was slow you know to take advantage of him so like don't go anywhere don't do this don't do that because we know very well that if michael was not the kind of person that michael was didn't have the personality angela would not have wanted that because angela does not want to be challenged angela wants somebody that she can lord over angela wants somebody that she can rule over and Michael certainly gave her that. Angela is just now crying because um, she was served a hot and steamy breakfast. Tag a Nigerian from translation. When Nigerians say you have been served breakfast, <laughs> you have been served breakfast. So Michael served Angela breakfast. And do I believe that Michael was in fear for his life? Absolutely. I have not a shred of doubt in my mind that Michael felt threatened. Michael felt afraid. I'm sure that Angela would have threatened him, said all kinds of things, you know. Oh, I know these people. This is the deep south, honey. Google deep south, honey. Do this and do that, honey. You will get disappeared. Nobody will even find you. Nobody will know your whereabouts. I have no shred of doubt in my mind that Angela would have said Michael said those things to Michael. She probably would have taken him to some open field, okay, that goes miles and miles and miles. And like, this is where you're going to get buried, honey, if you do not behave yourself. We'll dump you here and nobody will ever know where to find you. Out like that woman, Angela, has done enough for me to even imagine that these are the kind of things, threatening words that she was using to like get Michael in line, you know? So yeah, I 100% believe that Michael was afraid. I believe it. So, and another thing, Angela also dragged Michael's family, accusing them of putting ideas in, in Michael's head. For me, Angela can drag Michael's family all she wants. They deserve it. Okay. Everything that Angela is doing to them, they absolutely deserve it. Okay. The way they tolerated Angela's actions was truly, truly embarrassing. And every time, whenever I will make a post about them, I will, I will pose the question to them that if Angela was just another Nigerian woman, would they have tolerated the things that they tolerated from Angela? They would not. They know very well that they never would have tolerated that. They know very well. Any Nigerian person knows this. Okay. But because it was Angela, she's an Oyimbo woman who came. Like, so they deserve it, okay? I don't even really feel sorry for Michael, if I'm being completely honest. I don't feel sorry for Michael, but I just feel like now that he's in America, he deserves to be here for everything that Michael put up with just so he can come to America. I think he deserves to stay. It's one thing for Angela to be like barking orders at michael doing all the things that she was doing while michael was in nigeria but you would think that as soon as michael got to america she would have maybe altered her behavior you know kind of reel it in a bit no but she was doing all these things and now she's claiming that oh michael committed immigration fraud that she's going to report michael she's that michael is using the american police department to try and stay in the usa without her <laughs> Angela, your tears. Nobody is buying your tears. Nobody is falling for your tears. The fact that you think that everybody will just ignore everything that you did, you want to act like you are the victim? No. You are not the victim. The vast majority of people that are feeling sorry for Michael now would not be feeling my, feeling sorry for Michael if you had treated Michael like a human being. It was the way you treated Michael that caused all of this, that caused him to leave you. 
and the fact that you're not even owning up to what you did like you were ab straight up abusive okay and shouting up and down about how you have a good heart does not automatically you know plaster a good heart into you just saying that you have you have a good heart does not mean anything <laughs> anybody who has been watching the show knows that angela is very abusive not just to michael to call stars don't you people see the way angela behaves during reunion to the point where everybody is so afraid to even talk to her because she's gonna blow off and so anyways for people who are wondering how michael got away it was one time when Angela left Michael to babysit her seven-year-old um, granddaughter that Michael basically ran out of Dodge. And reportedly, um, Angela seized Michael's passport. So when Michael left, Michael took nothing. Michael left his belongings. Michael left his passport. Michael left his immigration papers. He left it all behind. What kind of a person is leaving that behind if not because those things were probably seized by Angela and locked away somewhere where he cannot get, get hold of them? Angela, you're not a victim, okay? I hope you get that clear into your head that you're not a victim in this situation. Everybody that has been watching this show, majority of them are rooting for Michael. They want Michael to move on. They feel like Michael has more than earned his green card, you know. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the update from Michael. I look forward to hearing what he has to say. And, um, yeah, this is where I'm going to end this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Like this video and also share. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.